why it's taking forever. I don't know why. I think they should do better. They can do better because they're bringing a lot of mm-hmm. noise. They don't, I don't know what is happening. They Trust me, I've, I've seen people leave the UK to go back to Nigeria for major surgeries because they're just going to keep them on the waiting list. Eh? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. You. Hey, desire, burning like a fire. What you gonna do when it crumbles down? Watch you get higher. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Adi Doi. And if it's the first time here, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for clicking on this video and for my returning subscriber. Thank you guys for checking the video. And I love you guys. Thank you for the comments so far. Thank you for the people that have subscribed. I really appreciate. And today, as you can see, I'm not alone. I'm here with the Mama of UK. Yay! <laughs> One and only. <laughs> Please no. You know, uh, the channel is for her and her husband, but right now, earlier there is here. So that's why it's fine, but on the screen, you can see fam family. So they are the yeah. fam, like one and only of yeah. UK. You know, and. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Just introduce yourself All right, guys. Um, my name is Abigail. I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Sister Doin, for having me. Um, I live in the UK with my family, my husband, and two children. We moved to the UK just about um, almost two years. Almost two years now. Yes. So, and um, I remember that we moved practically the same week from yes and i met her, yeah. I met her for the first time when you were leaving maybe on so yeah. maybe on monday i met you on sunday on and sunday. you were like i'm going we're going without because i know her sister so like mm-hmm. we we're going without their kids and i remember that our baby was like almost the same age with my son like yeah, my son was like four like, months yeah my baby was october your baby was like december something i'm not sure yeah and yeah. i was like ha how would this would just go to the uk without their kid <laughs> And coming to mm-hmm. Canada, I came across your video and I, I could see how you were doing great. As the way you were motivating people, the way you were mm-hmm. talking to people about it, and a lot of people. I'm very sure that was the reason why a lot of people subscribed. A lot of people channel, subscribed. Like, were in that mm-hmm. shoes of deciding, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, can we do this or something? And I love the fact that you guys are doing so well. Like, I used to tell my like, I, didn't I know these people? Like, we met like the same, almost the same period we were living in. Yes, yes, I remember that day. I remember that day. You were so happy, like you were yeah. so happy. When me, I wasn't so happy that day. Yeah. I was just like because I was leaving my children, I wasn't yeah, so badly so excited. Yeah. I was I moody. Feel- I didn't look like someone that was relocating. Yeah. <laughs> but so you, I, I you know. were just happy. Yeah, everybody knew. <laughs> so I could see that as a mother. I knew. I knew that. So I was mm. prepared for you. But when I came across this channel, and I see how good. I thank God the children are now. And then thank God, God, thank God. Yeah. And if you look back at it, you know that you made the right choice, right? Ah, uh, yes. It really helps so you. Definitely your movie, do. your transition, and everything. Mm. I think that you guys really have enough time to just do those things. Yeah, and, we have enough and that time. And I just thought, like, okay, let me just bring it to my channel. So if you don't know the Fab family, please go to their channel. They are big YouTuber in UK. Ah, we are not big, girl. They are not small children in UK. You guys just... Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we are just trying to be... But yeah. it is God has been open us. Yeah, that's what yeah. I can say. Subscribe, just to the channel. And I know that some people from the channel will be here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for yes, coming. Definitely. And today we just thought about okay, we left Canada, Nigeria at the same period. So I think yeah. the same experience or the same duration of time living in another mm. country. And I guess mm. we just come here to talk about um the difference between UK and Canada. And this purpose of this video is for people that are trying to relocate. You know that they don't even know what to do. Like they don't even know the country to go to. Maybe US, maybe Canada, <laughs> maybe you know they just want to go. And you also want to I think we went through different routes. Me, I went through um PR. Yeah. And you were a student, so we have yeah. like two different experiences that we can talk about. Experience, yes. Good one coming together to just talk about it on this channel, and uh-huh. and that's why I have here. So guys, yes. sit down and enjoy this video. <laughs> Yeah, stay back. You're going to enjoy it. I know that there are some people in the UK right now that they want to move to Canada. To Canada. So yeah, I think yeah, yeah. this video is timely. It's 
is just at the right time so people can decide. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of people that even want to, to move to Canada from UK. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we should just talk about life generally. Let's just talk about life generally. How is life generally in the UK? Uh, it's good. Life is actually good. It's just that it could be very lonely. Yeah, I don't know if about Canada. Ah, <laughs> it's more lonely than <laughs> okay. it could be very lonely, and life is just like it's like there's no break. It's like we're on just a, a train that has no you have to you have to find that break for yourself. If not, you're just going to burn out. But it's not like it's totally bad. It's good. You just have to manage your time and know when to take a break, when to rest mm -hmm. and everything. But in general, life is good. The weather the weather is dealing with us. Winter has refused to leave us. Help us beg winter. I know if I'm talking, <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> you are coming to that one. Just leave that winter alone. Because I don't want to complain about me. What is which 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 part do you guys have? You guys just have uh, Amata. <laughs> I mean, I don't like cold, so it's uh, just it's just terrible. <laughs> he said we have Amata. We have cold though. It's snowing okay. today. It's snowing. You have two digits. Two minus digits. Two, minus two digits, like minus twenty-seven, minus twenty-seven. Uh, kilo day. Okay, now, come to come. To, I'm in Winnipeg. Oh. We have minus forty-seven. How do you go out? Uh, we go out soon now. <laughs> I won't even step out. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> you have to make it live. So you have to just <laughs> So in terms of fashion sense, I use okay, talking about life in Canada UK being lonely is the same thing everywhere. I think no. the way we do it in back home is just so different. Yeah, everybody here yeah. just their business. Mind you even know your neighbor. Ah. I've I don't even know my neighbor. I've been living in the same apartment for almost two years now. I, I don't know my neighbor. I don't know the people living in front of me. I don't know the people staying beside me. I don't know. So me too. Life can same be that, I don't know them. Life can be that lonely. In mm -hmm. I think it's not only UK. So it's both Canada and UK, right? So UK, that's what, yeah. yeah. But another thing, in terms of fashion, I just like in UK. Ah. Ah. I think now, UK. Also, UK people here are quite fashionable. I don't know, maybe because we have a lot of stores here. <laughs> we have a lot of stores, like you have options, lots of options, H and M, M and S, Primark, all, all of them, Zara, they all have stores. And in fact, even in little small cities, at least you see one of these um designers of major popular stores you see them even in small cities small towns so i think uk has more fashion more clothes clothes and more access to stores yeah, clothing um, stores. Uh, in terms of fashion uh in canada we don't have a lot of fashion on uh, this in canada even our fashion sense is kind of low so it's making because the they're only wearing with jacket <laughs> <laughs> no so no when i see my friends in uk all those like, ah, but like really, mm -hmm. why you guys see all this clothes? Like, ah, what, what is that? I, mean? I think we have Zara here. Yeah. We have Zara here, yeah. and it's kind okay. of expensive. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. Zara. Yeah. And what else? So you know, as, as Nigeria, most of us wear UK wear back home. Yes, what back home. What are the that we see back home in Nigeria? We don't really, mm -hmm. have them. we don't really have them here. Yeah. And in terms of being fashionable, we can, we are kind of low. Or like UK. That's why you see that even because back in Nigeria, I was a fashion designer. I used to see this thing. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. Coming down here, people don't even want to sew. Or like UK mm. that you see like, you can still move to UK and still grow your business. I still start and you can still doing, buy yes. all those things you need from Nigeria because it's just is ours. Yes. Or like we that we are almost two days before two days journey. <laughs> so like fashion sense in Canada, for me, I don't know about another. So why do you why do you buy your clothes? Ah, sometimes I bought it on sometimes on Temu and on Amazon. Oh, you know, if I need to get some fabrics, maybe some fabrics online. I used to buy it online, and most people that sell those fabrics are always UK, US, just fabric. Mm. I need to sew some clothes. Yeah, you know, yes. people don't want to because even to bring those things back from Nigeria is not that easy. So, easy. fashion, this thing, yeah, it's not. I know it's, it can't be compared to the UK. Five over ten, 
not yeah. it's not given. We have people here that are so you know. That's what I'm saying. It's so easy for you guys to so, so easy for you guys to so, if I have yeah. you guys, you guys are, I'll be wearing my native 24 7 Because even in <laughs> even in minus 17, I still wear native sometimes. I'll just keep yeah. up very well. You get yeah, yes. So let's talk about the shite daycare. Thank God your children are here now. And I want to ask hmm. why daycare, getting daycare. Do you guys have a long wait? Because we in Canada, we have a yes. long wait. We are always on the waiting list. Waiting with list. Them. I remember when we got here, I spent with, with my kids, I spent nine months in the house before we got a ah. day with them. So it can be Canada, it, it's the wait is much. It's very I'm not I'm not people that want to take your kids to daycare to private mm. daycare. But for some of us that want to use the government on government. the wait list is even for some private, for some private there's still you're still going to be on that waiting list. Mm. I, I was on waiting list for both private and public. I was just applying, applying, applying for nine months until we got after wow. private. So it can be so mm. draining. So they yeah. care, kind of it's not much. Mm. they're not that much or maybe they are much but they're trying to limit uh people that they get at a particular time but it's kind of oh. it's kind of scarce here it's kind oh. of scarce. and government give us subsidy if if you get some luck you can get subsidy because in a day we pay 25 dollars per day for daycare because my kids are in daycare so i don't really know anything about the <laughs> preschool okay so we pay 25 dollars per day but if you if you are lucky enough to get government subsidized daycare you will pay mm. 10 per day oh okay okay so that is like i don't know mm -hmm. i don't know if it's um what you mean by daycare is what we call nursery i'm yeah. thinking is what we call nursery yeah. okay so we call it nursery and it's for i think two years old to four that's so fine. from four they go to they start going to the proper wow. family. Oh, it's five, five. Yeah, it's four year. So um the waiting list not so long. Yeah, yeah, because there are a lot of schools in the UK. It's just that there are some times you have to wait. There are some peculiar times you have to wait. That means like, like when you want to get a particular school, you want to Maybe you are new in the country, you know, they are just trying to arrange it. They will still eventually give it to you, but it might take a while. But I don't think you wait up to nine months without mm -hmm. any school. They can still look for one for you while you are waiting for that particular one you want, but you still get something because they won't like that your children are not attending any kind of nursery. Like they always encourage children going to the nursery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, even my daughter, before she came, we already had a place for her. Wow. I think, yeah, like I said, I think that was a mistake I made. If I've known about this waitlist stuff, before leaving mm. Nigeria, trying to apply. Yeah, because, that, because, yeah. uh, before leaving Nigeria, because you have to have an address. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yes. Was, and a lot of people are complaining about it, so I don't think I'm the only one. Yeah. About that. And before and she then, came, uh, it didn't take time. It didn't take long before they got back to us. And they yeah, were even the one. The council was. They, they sent a list. We should choose one of the the nursery in our mm -hmm. area. So they helped us uh, search for the nurseries in the area. Sent the list. And we just selected one very close to the house. So do, do they do government subsidized uh, nursery for you, or you pay, or what do you do? For the UK, it's um, fifteen hours. Like for we that are not um residents yet, you know, you people are already on PR, yeah. but we, I don't, I don't, I, I think it's, I think that's for everybody. So you get 15 hours for your children that are between two and four. Okay. So from four years, when they go to primary school, they can get 30 hours free. So 15 hours free. If you now want more, let's say you want your child to be going every day from 8 30 to maybe three then you pay for the remaining hours oh okay yes, uh, 7 30 to 5 30 so but you can pick the many time you want so your yeah. children will go to school from 7 30 to 5 30 so you can pick the many time you, you and you just have to pay ten dollars it's, it's not bad now. Yeah, it makes but sense. But we, even if it's from 8.30 to 3.30, you 
if you want to do half day, then you can do it. Like, okay, let's say you're 15 hours now. You want to spread this within five days. Mm -hmm. You can do three hours for each day. Mm -hmm. Or you do five hours for three days. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. if you want more days, you pay for it, and it's quite expensive. I won't even like for a day, you can pay over 30 pounds. Yes, child care in the UK is very, very expensive. But, uh -huh. So, I noticed that in Canada, yeah, for preschool and the um, the other school, you have to do mm -hmm. for school within your community, that means the area you're staying. Yes, so yes. can go outside. I don't know. And most school year we don't wear uniform. I don't know if you guys wear uniform. In school. We wear uniform. Yeah. For <laughs> for nursery, they don't wear uniform in nursery. But from primary reception and the this they wear uniform. Even secondary school they have uniform. They don't. Too. In fact, I most I used to see them online. I've not seen school that way. Oh no, we just wear them mostly. I think really? it's not all schools that wear uniform here. Yeah. Out of yeah. 10, they just say two. Oh, okay. They just say two out of 10. Yeah. What we should talk about is the healthcare. How is the healthcare like in UK? Healthcare in the UK, that's where we have waiting lists. Waiting lists. <laughs> Until you're about to, your enemy is about to die before. <laughs> no, seriously. I've, I've seen people leave the UK to go back to Nigeria for major surgeries because they're just going to keep them on the waiting list. Like, the things that they're supposed to take very... It's not like it's not serious, but because, I don't know, the NHS, everywhere is jam-packed. People are... It's, it's very... It's the healthcare for now. In fact, people, pregnant women, most especially, are even complaining now wow. of the treatment they are getting mm. is deep. It's deeper than what we, especially yeah. for the minority background, we blacks, and it's it's not it's not the same. So for healthcare, I'm not going to rate UK higher. So I'll just say five over or six over ten. So um, I know people complain to about Canada healthcare that they don't, mm. uh, yeah, they don't really. Um, they don't like Nigeria. Like, you know, if you get to the hospital, the we are like, if it's not, if it's not, it's not, it's not an emergency, you just have to. Mm -hmm. And another mm -hmm. thing that, mm -hmm. that I like is that you don't need to come to the main hospital every time. There are clinics. Yes. And you. So, those mm -hmm. clinics, you just have to. When you, you, know, you get to Canada, I don't know about all that yet, but in Winnipeg, you register, you look for a family doctor that mm -hmm. can attend to you. It's the same year. We call so, it GP. So it's make it easy. But those um emergency, those serious ones that you need to go to the this thing. Go to the major whatever. hospital. According to people that have experienced it. But personally, I've not experienced it. Even I've not experienced it too. So the last one I even have to do a very serious um I have to go some for the hospital for something that's very serious. They attend to me very well. And I can tell mm -hmm. you that everything maybe because I came as a PR, you know, we're not going to pay. So it's free. Mm -hmm. For us, and they really attend to me very well. And I, based on some of my friends that are here that are pregnant, I think I noticed that when you are pregnant, they give you special treatment in Canada. They attend to you, they give it until you give birth, you know, or like people that are just down there for tests, for extra, for the they might take forever. But me, even the last extra I went to do. I, well, a lot of people were there, but when it was my time, they called me. And it wasn't that. Yeah, yes, yes. So me, I can't say, but because I know people complain, but based on what me have experienced so far, it's not like Nigeria. You know, when you get to Nigeria, when you have your money, you enter private hospital. Mm -hmm. If you have but your money, you have to wait. <laughs> you. But public, wait yes, not, yes. the wait is not as much as well we wait here. Uh, we wait and here. And when you are sick, sometimes you no. Know, when you know like your child is old, you just like, God give him water. You just need water. <laughs> My <laughs> one time, some months last year, we had to call the ambulance for my little daughter because she had um eye fever all night and she was and it was weekend, so we just called the ambulance. They came, they checked her and said, Oh, okay, they will take her to the not our GP now, they will take her to the big hospital. So we got there, we thought it was something that they would just attend to us. They asked us to sit down, we sat down. 
hey, we sat down for hours. I'm like, this girl is having eye fever and they're just coming. Can I check it in here? Can I check it? They're checking, checking, checking. So like, I'm, I'm, what the, what's next? Drink water. Just drink water. Like, what, what next? <laughs> he said, um, we're going to see the consultant. We're going to see the doctor. Okay, we waited and waited and waited. Finally, the doctor came. He said, oh, the, by by the time the doctor came, said, my yeah. daughter was already okay. She was already playing because Omolomo, I've given her a uh, person before we left home and everything. So she was already playing. The doctor was like, ah, there's nothing wrong with her, but we should still wait for them to check. I, I said, it's okay. I'm not waiting again. She's fine. I was even the one going to meet them. They said we should sit down. We sat for another one hour. I went to meet them that please, I'm going home. I can't do this anymore. So the thing is, I think concerning those sweet consultants, sweet doctor, I think the reason why it's taking forever, I don't know why. I think they should do better. They can do better because they're being a lot of mm -hmm. nurses. Lot of, I don't know what is happening. There are a lot of mm -hmm. doctors. They're always busy. They're always so, busy. So I think they should just do better. But I think that with all those consultants, sweet doctor, at the end of the day, they will give you the necessary treatment even though it might take forever but the next thing is um, weather. i think we've talked about it a little oh, so okay, yeah. weather is very very uh, i don't know our weather well, is do you know that i know your weather is this thing okay. but someone has someone who has stayed in the uk and then went to canada was comparing the weather and said the uk is kind of colder okay. Where is, where is that? Maybe, maybe. maybe. Wait, it might not be outside. I don't know. I didn't watch the video. It was someone that was telling me. It might be inside the house because Canada, the way they built the house, they built it ready for the weather. Wait, you can like you guys use block. What do they used to be the house? Is wood now? Nah, I don't even know wood and block I'm because some walls are guys. some some walls are just wood wood. Yeah. Yeah, our house everything is just wood. From the scratch to no bricks, no nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's a way they do that. It's uh, it's consume uh, the old code. The because code they, yeah. for this summer, for this winter, I've not, I've not even won the winter for uh, the eater for some for any. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I'm saying. You cannot stay in my house for some hours, especially when it's very cold. You cannot stay without putting on the eater. So I think because this is a new building, I think there's a way they did it now that it helps. But mm, for people that yes. yeah, and it's an apartment. So mm. it is very well that you can't feel that cold. But I think people that stay in their own house or old, old houses. Oh ah, gosh, it's so cold. Yeah, the yeah. house we moved when we just came to the UK, our apartment was really, really cool because it was an old house. Very cold. I mean, even the eating wasn't <laughs> enough we had to buy mobile eater check me my husband and i will sit down uh, in front of it like this with our blanket inside the house so okay. that's what i said sometimes uk can be colder the house inside the house can be colder than even outside okay. i don't so know the it's in all the because, buildings okay the thing is because me i still winnipeg winnipeg is like the extra extra cold, cold region area in, yeah in canada <laughs> Sometimes you go to minus 45. I'm not joking. Some people even say they've gotten minus 50 before. Ah, like, how, this would is you, how would you do it? They do it though. The day I expressed it, the one I expressed was minus 18. Feels like mm -hmm. 10. Ah, I almost want to die that day. That was when we first came. Hmm. Oh my, <laughs> everything was red. Paining me. For days, my body was aching me. I was oh, like, no, and I up, you know? So, but, and during summer too, when is summer? The sun is always much. Like yeah, everything is much. just SS. I don't know everything about the way that is just SS. But I think our own sun is not much. Uh, but the Even sun is winter, like uh, just winter. hot like it's not hot. Uh, during winter, self, you'll be seeing sun like this as entering your eye. During winter, with so much cold. But yeah, it's that... bright, but it's not really hot now. Is it? Mm, but summer is hot. Summer, you see them people that don't even wear clothes again. <laughs> okay, before okay, you came in, I think. Before we came in, there was heat wave, so I think some summers can be very hot. Like some, some not all. Well, last year the summer wasn't so hot at all. It was just okay. Well, okay. Let's talk about tax. I don't know. Uh, I don't know yeah. on food. Just on food. I don't know if you. Oh, I thought you said tax. Yes, tax on food. Because if we go buy some stuff at the store, mm. once we see, maybe we see like okay, this one is three dollar. 
Uh, when you buy, you are just picking, picking, picking. By the time you go and pay, the whole is that one. So I just feel why are you not just just calculate it with the money. So I, will like, I want to buy this or I don't want to mm. buy it. Not that when I not finish buying everything, now that tax is only some money. Yeah. Yes, some stores already they've added their. Thing. Oh, but you nice. see, one major store I know that doesn't add. There's one I know that doesn't. Have. My husband and I were were not aware in the beginning when we started going to that store. We just buy everything. They will tell us if I'm like, so put to him. You know, we cannot start sitting down to calculate the money. Well, but it was later, <laughs> later, we now saw that they will write the price, but underneath it, they will not write it very tiny. This VAT, including VAT, total, this thing. Mm -hmm. So they divided the board. They only put the major price bold, uh, bold. and put. I wish that I wish mm -hmm. that, that in Canada. At least I'll be calculating my money before I forget. I mean, oh, you've yeah, got to do that, right. that place before you have ah, ah, come. Give me more. <laughs> what did I buy? <laughs> and always so much, but I think yeah. government also do return refund tax for people at the end of the year. There's a way they calculate it on yes, yes, yes. that they will return some tax. Does it happen to you guys too? Yes, at the end of tax year, they usually return money. Yes. Okay. Another but do you think um UK pays more tax than Canada? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me know what I don't know. I'm not sure, but I know that they don't joke with the tax yeah. I ah, I think UK. But I don't think anybody can beat UK in this tax. <laughs> they want to tax you our blood. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing, I know what I'm interested in this that's the immigration process, like the step. How does this uh, go? No, maybe when you come in as a student, is it yeah. or if you come in as a PR to become a citizen, is it fast? What's the process like? Like, okay, let me start from Canada. I know that as a student, if you are if you study some course that will make you have work permit for some time, I think you can get your PR immediately after two after you finish studying and you start working, you can apply for mm -hmm. your and you get your PR immediately, almost immediately. Yeah. Yep or two and after that you will after getting as a pair you have to stay in canada for three years without leaving canada or uh, for five years yeah for five years but in that five years you must have stayed three years mm -hmm. before becoming citizen like me now if i did not leave canada at all since i went to canada now if i didn't that if i did not go at all for after three years, I can apply for the citizenship stuff. Citizenship. But if I'm going in and out of Canada often, I have to make sure that they will calculate it in a way that child, it must work for three years. So it's between the year you between that year that you entered and five years that you can, mm -hmm. be, can become a citizen. So I don't know how if Canada um, um if UK zone is that straight because I know that you guys have a lot of policies policy that they are just changing, changing, changing. So it's like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the immigration self I'm not sure the immigration officer, the people in charge, I think they are confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure they understand it anymore. But the thing is, we don't, it's not um straightforward like that. Mm. And that's why most people are even angry and they want to leave the UK because they have come on study visa, they have paid this huge amount of money. After one year, you, you are not getting anything, just your degree. And then you find another visa, you have to switch another visa. Mm. Even if your course is two years, you still have to switch because the earliest one can get, um, we call it ILR. The earliest you can get it is um, in five years. Mm. So it's after five years. You have to be in the UK for five years on one kind of visa. And if you are studying all through, that's 10 years before you get ILR. Yeah, that's so, that. So it's a long time. It's, like it's not straightforward, but just that Canada zone, you know the timing already, and it's going to work. Yeah, Canada zone is fast now. I mean, after three years, and you can even come as PR. Mm -hmm. After yeah. three years, you get your student. But yes, you do Canada, you enjoy a lot. You enjoy a lot of privileges that the citizens and have. you're already getting benefits. Yeah, like and even on PR, yes, but. People on study visa or even work visa sometimes cannot access some benefits. We don't have access to public funds until you get your ILR. Yeah. 
think another thing we should talk about is the job opportunity. I, I think you guys have a lot of opportunity on your side. I am sure. Mm-hmm. I think so. It's guys it's changing now. People are really looking for jobs now. There are still jobs in the UK. Yeah, there are still jobs. I think Canada even has more jobs because I've never seen somebody that comes to Canada and say I'm jobless. Yeah, sometimes you have to do the small small jobs in order for you to just. It's the same thing here now. You just do small small jobs until you get something good. So it's. So I think it's the same thing. Like you said, um, the job too is just, I think it's almost the same thing. Yes. And business-wise, I think um, UK is more expanded when it comes to business than Canada. Because like we said before, you have a lot of, you can bring things in from your country. The, like mm. Nigeria, there's so easy for them to do business. You know, there oh, are yes, yes, there yes, are yes. Of, yes. And yeah, too, they, they have a lot of work, people doing hand work, but I think UK is going to be more, more than mm. as well. Yeah. I think one of the reasons why the, the UK has more business um, system is um, thanks to the Asian community. Yeah, they are always busy. You know, even Andy Man, all these odd jobs, they are doing it. They are opening stores. Nigeria, to start with Nigeria and UK, what are you guys waiting for? You guys yeah, Nigeria to too. They are trying. Even people that we just came in, some people have already started business, even if they've not established it mm-hmm. very big, but they are still trying to, you know, people are already selling African foods in their house. Come on, buy. <laughs> you know? Yes, yes. So... So I think yes, the UK is has more business them. Um. Okay. Another thing is cultural diversity. How is it like there? How is it like? You know, oh. I know that a lot of people are migrating. A lot of different a lot of people. So how is it like how you guys do the cultural diversity? Does it recognize people from outside country? Or is there you know, is there racism? You know those no, things. No. How are people taking it? No. So, hey, I, say, I think we have a lot of immigrants in Canada. I don't know about. I think as the same thing, yeah, we have so immigrants in the UK as well. Well, me, I would say that it cannot be the same. Mm-hmm. It cannot be like your home. You know, there is always a difference. There is mm-hmm. always a difference. But people, yeah. yeah. I would say like 50 50. Okay. Some people, you will know that um, they don't really like the the thing good the immigrants and everything and people coming in but some people are welcoming they don't mind mm-hmm. they don't mind and they won't even show it because um how would i put this now the uk people the the, the britons they are more they are kind of polite mm-hmm. and they are not confrontational kind of so but me i even feel sorry for cutting your shots i don't want to forget so me i even feel yeah, Canada are very friendly. Yeah. Yeah, they are polite. You know, polite is not does not mean you are friends. The guys yes, yes. Don't mean they, they they love you or they want to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are polite and they call them friendly Canada, so they are friendly. That's their logo and everything. But I know that people that are even doing all those um that like you, that even some of them are even immigrants. <laughs> Like they come from their country because I, know I understand. I understand. It's true. It's true. They're not for me. They're for me. Yeah. Uh, some people I don't want to mention. Generally, government, Canada government, embrace diversity. Yes, diversity. They, 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 like this month, last month was they did black. Um, what they call it? Black something, 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 something. As in just for black. That was February. Yeah. Activities concerning. So they. Where I am, I don't know about other province. So I think Canada com- uh, country really understand the fact that a lot of people are coming in, coming with different in. culture and different beliefs, different things. So they recognize everybody. Even in our government, a lot of blacks are in our government right now. Mm. The minister of the deputy minister of health, a young Niger girl, and she's doing well. I, th- I think she's the first Niger uh, black that is. That government here, and she's really everyone is really embracing that kind of thing, and I think that's nice. The other thing is the road network. How is your road like? Is it big? Is it small? <laughs> Everything in the UK is tiny. I it's, know it's narrow. Oh. But some road there, you have to wait for somebody to 
so small. The houses are small. Oh my god, I love Canada. I love the people's house. Big kitchen yeah, everywhere. No, US house is bigger. Me too. I love US. I know US is bigger, <laughs> but Canada is still better than this place. I mean, uh, some houses here yeah, be like, why, why no master? You know, when you have master bedroom and master has um, what do they call it? Uh, suits, um, Closer, yeah, closer. bathroom, yes, bathroom. and everything. Before maybe new builds because the houses they are building newly now they can have it but you see those old houses don't even go for it they are so <laughs> small and small and so, tiny no obviously we canada we have a very big our in short when i first got here i'm always like ah oh no what that big yeah lagos by the expressway right <laughs> yeah no, I in wish. nigeria it's lagos by the expressway so that is big no, yeah, no, yeah 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 but yeah even Inside the street, some of the yeah, some of the roads. Are you serious? Uh, wow. you two, two lanes, three lanes. Wow. And there's some uh, road that, is, but you know, all those km, eighty kilometer. <laughs> there's no some. There's no hundred kilometer. You can speed on hundred kilometer. And there's hundred. Yeah, there's some that's fifty, and there's some that's thirty. That's uh, school zone. Trees. Uh, so that one needs to be mindful of that one too, because any <laughs> any mistake like this. Uh, I'll be you, they'll be you. Yes, that they'll be. But uh, you do you know that uh, even uh, some major roads here yeah, are 30. 30. Mm -hmm. Some major roads. 30, don't even you can see 30 in Canada is a uh, school zone. Ah, no. School, the 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the is very, very small. It's very, very small. small. Express, like the major roads. Um, the reason man. why your road is small and your bus is small because I, when I was trying to do this video, I checked online and I noticed that Canada is like the second largest. Um, yeah, country. Canada has a large um, landmass. Yeah, yes, so land. they have big, they don't have what yeah. they're using. Yes, yes. They have a lot of big, big, big. But, but population in the UK is more than population in Canada. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, there are a lot of people in the UK. People are playing. Yes, and that's why people are you push your express more people coming now. Mm. Because no, people are living in the UK them. now. <laughs> so another thing is housing, you know, mm. renting apartments, the price of buying house. How is it like in the UK? Ah, oh, houses like, are expensive. Uh, I want to let, let me give you a scenario. If you're a parent, in Canada, even a student, I think when you get to some particular month and you're working, you can you can get the house within a year. A PR you can mm -hmm. even get six months as a PR in, in Canada. And I know that for now, as of now, the rate is really, really high. People are complaining because you know that there's inflation everywhere. So people are yes. about the amount we are even paying for house rent. You know, like where we are now, we're paying like one thousand something, close to one thousand if I can remember, one thousand eight. For this apartment, but it's a new building and it comes with everything except with you. So that's the only thing that it comes with. And it's, it's cool. Whereas some place too in Canada, some province, you are still going like 2,000, 4,000 for one small two bedroom that is not even making sense. Wow. So it depends. So I feel. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think it. I think it depends. But generally, rent is the highest. If you ask like every family. What's the, the bills they are paying every month? Rent takes the highest uh, sum. But most because... people I see in UK, most of you that I know in UK, you would know you collect apartment too. I only see you people collecting duplex, like bullet <laughs> room. That means your house is no, That's what they have now. That's what they have. They build houses. Some are detached or semi-detached, um, joined together. So apartment there are apartments too, but because of family some apartments majorly for single people because no, i mean like, yeah, yeah, like the one we are saying like, it's two bedroom and it's apartment they call it condo right so it's, they have a lot of this in canada so it's so rare for you to see people that will collect duplex yeah I, I think they'll start building that now in the uk because i see some very huge uh, Places where they are just apartments, two bedroom, one bedroom, three bedroom, all in one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, maybe. So, it's, uh, so I think I don't know. I think to me, UK is ready still. 
Ah, Zaya, you can't. Yeah, he has more desire than our money now. Yes, but he... even to buy the house, even to buy the house, you... <laughs> hey, even to buy the house is not so, easy. So, I think to buy house here yeah, as a PR, you just have you just need five percent for your pay and. Um, to pay down to pay you know, yeah, yeah it deposit percent. yes yeah, that's what we do here yeah. so so far so good i think we've done we've covered a lot of things so now we've not covered food, food we've food. not covered food <laughs> okay so how are you guys doing it there over there ah. with the african stores so we buy food from african stores and then there are some major stores and stores so it's either you go to the major store to buy or you go to the one in your city, small ones, yeah, small, small. But I know you guys have, you have a lot of African because I used to go to the market that look yes, like yes. Oh, it, yeah. it's Everything is we have a lot of African stores, yeah. We have open open markets where you can you buy so and because we have them um, Asians, a lot of Asians, and some of their food we eat it, some of our food they eat it. So I think it's good. How much do you spend on food in a month? Hey, don't let me say anything for now. What we once came to was it wasn't that much. I think because of the inflation. Sometimes I remember one day we went to the store and we didn't yeah. buy what that we used to buy, like the way we used to buy. Because if I'm going to when we have children and all those small small yes, yes. That day, me, I was always telling my husband that ah, we do not buy much. So, ah, let's go, let's go. So once we buy above 300 they always give you gifts. Yes. <laughs> you know? eh? Yeah, they give you gifts. Once buy a book, we should have stopped. I don't know what happened. So that day we just went to the store, and what we bought was not even. It wasn't half of what we used to buy. And when we paid, they just said two fifty. Me and my husband looked at me, ah, Kilara, Kilara. <laughs> <laughs> so before when we came, we can even spend one fifty. We buy a lot, plenty, mm. once even to the next one. But right now we are still. Sometimes we still spend four hundred. We are still spending. Yes, there is inflation <laughs> everywhere. There's yeah. inflation everywhere. So I, I, remember, remember, ah, I know that it's hard in Nigeria, but the reason the difference is that uh even with deflation here and Nigeria, the difference is that we, we are working and we are seeing we are you are seeing people. what you're working for exactly. I was gonna say that okay. even there's no amount you you end the money. The money you are going to spend on food is still oh, is less okay. than maybe twenty-five percent or so okay. from your income. Yeah, it's yeah. rent that will take all your money and the remaining mm -hmm. bills. Mm -hmm. I remember when my it was just myself and my husband, and the first time when we came and we went to this store, I think Lidu or Audi, one of them, I went to buy. And we have just we just bought. We are so happy. I think we just got our money that they would just got paid. Mm -hmm. So we bought and bought and bought, and it said twenty pounds. Like twenty, I mean less than twenty pounds. We had like three bags. I was like, "Eh, are you serious?" <laughs> not like that again. I don't know. God, we have. But it's not like that again, no. Okay. Hmm. So if now we talk about Canada. <laughs> we talk about UK. So do you still want to Japa? We not start coming. So when talking about the difference between Canada, it's not for you to be discouraged. Just for you to be able to pick. Yes, just what that is good for you. And so far, so good. Like I can start. It's almost the same. Yeah, all, almost the same everywhere. It's almost, it's the, almost same. the same. Don't you like difference that your money is higher than our money? And your your houses are bigger than our own. Your roads are bigger. Because your money is bigger. It's more than our money. <laughs> uh, I think it's almost the it's same almost thing. Almost the same. But so, I just... one thing I like about the Canada is the immigration process. Although it might be longer, you might be in the pool for years. But UK, if you are coming on study, you know that. And uh, if you're you are coming on study, take... Canada too, you can't stay forever. So what? Yeah. yeah. But if it's VR, yeah. it will take you longer. Yeah. So people, some people are lucky. I asked someone that said she only down within one year, and I was like, are you serious? That grace, I need it for my family. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I need it for my family. I need it for your sister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you are so we need to be that grace. Honestly, yeah. honestly, we need so, that grace. Yeah, so I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all. We covered most of it. Yes. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Thank so you. Watching. And thank you, the Fab Mommy, for coming. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for coming. having me. Was... Happy to be here. Yeah, and we are also... right? yes, yes, I was going to say that we are calling you to our channel. Yeah, I yes.
so I will really talk to well. So you guys, yeah. why you would not say the video, you can just put it in the comment section. We both yeah. and we answer you because we want the conversation to continue in the comment yeah. section. And don't forget to like, subscribe, like, to subscribe, to subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Every <laughs> time <laughs> subscribe to our channel, though, and uh. we'll see you in our next video. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, I won't let you go.